Hello everyone, it's Maria with you today and thank you so much for joining me on another video for UK Scrap Addicts. So uh, this month's theme is to use one single six by four photo. And as you can see, I just cut my photo from like an A4 piece of, uh, of um, paper. Basically, I don't print photos in, on your usual way of sending them to print. I have a, an A4 printer at home and what I do, I just uh, copy my photos into a Word document and, and from there I just print them. So by doing that, I can resize them and and basically print as many as I want in, in one sheet of A4. The downside of that is that I don't normally pay much attention at the size. So I don't know if a photo is A4 or uh, three by three, I, d I don't know. So this photo was one of the ones that resembled more of the size. So I measured it with uh, my ruler and then I trimmed it a bit. And as you can see, I also then matted it on a white piece of cardstock because I like my photos to have uh, a white edge. So now, as you can see, I've just uh, cut those little white flowers. They are from um, a quite an old pack by, uh, oh, what's the lady's name? The lady who does um, Project Life. Uh, who, Heidi, Heidi? Yeah, Heidi Swap, is it? I think that's her name. Yeah, Heidi Swap. So she she had that um, uh, this um, laser cat flowers, and I've been saving this for quite a long time, and uh, and I decided that uh, it was time to use them now. I've also taken a bit of acrylic white paint and drawn uh, like a, as you can see there uh, like a little um, square because um, the coloring in my photo is quite brown and and the wood uh, background um, is also quite dark. Um, and brown so by putting this uh, white frame with the paint it, it gives a bit more contrast and just as i was going to glue down my photo i noticed you know what this needs a tiny extra so maybe um some papers um and these two just happened to be on my desk from earlier in the month during a national scrapbooking day and uh, i decided to just cut a couple of pieces and and use it I'm just gluing my my flowers. I'm not using just normal um, wet glue, nothing, just normal PVA uh, because it's going tacked under the photo anyway, so it's not going to go anywhere. And I will also be um, fussy cutting these flowers, um, nothing special, just uh, so I'm sp speeding up a, a bit normal because there's nothing uh, to see here, just fussy cutting. And it, it, this technique is something I've done a few times now in the past. Um, I've done like a big floral uh, background and then layered smaller flowers on top. And I quite really like uh, how this um, comes out. I will be using foam to bring a tiny bit of dimension to some of the flowers. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the basis of my layout and from now on I'm just going to be doing uh, uh, the title and the journaling and a few embellishments. So what can I tell you? This photo is uh, it's quite funny though because um, it's my kids with the cousin and uh, I've done quite a few layouts uh, of them and um, I've run out of titles like I've done the three amigos, uh, I've done like all, all kind of titles relating to the three of them and uh, for this one I just wanted uh, to just go for the name of the place and as you can see here I'm really struggling to find um, alphas where I've got all the letters for, for the title and, and I go through all my alphas and I, th I thought I had uh, enough for these ones but I didn't and uh, so I end up going um, to to my faithful uh, these black alphas um, I've had like three or four packs of these ones by now and uh, I really love them they're not super special but they, they it is a nice font and um, so I don't mind using them a lot in my in my uh, layouts so the title is Burton Dasset which is where the photo was taken and a place near my in-laws where we go quite often and we fly kites and stuff like that and the kids love it there because they are allowed to run up and down the hill and this day however was very very windy that's why the the three kids are just against the wall trying to be um, sheltered from the wind 
Um, as you can see now, I'm adding a tiny bit of glue to the to the alphas. Um, it's something that really, really does my head in when something is supposed to be self adhesive or to have already glue and and then it, that glue is ab absolutely rubbish. Uh, I have gone through my albums recently. I was looking at them with my daughter and uh, I noticed a few alphas here and there that had just fallen off to the bottom of the page protector. And it, oh, oh, I hate it. So from when I'm, when I realized that from then on, I am always uh, adding a, an extra bit of, um, of glue to, to the, to the alphas, unless I know that the alphas that I'm using are this the, the sticky is quite good but for this ones I knew I had to add a tiny bit more so as you can see I'm adding my uh, journaling I'm telling you the story I just told you about of going to Burton Dasset and it was windy and all of that but we had a good day, day at the end and now I'm just looking for a little label or a tag or something like that uh, yeah I go for these ones for the date and I know the date because it was Mother's Day uh, this year, and which happened to be my, my mother-in-law's birthday, so we went up to see them. And just a couple of finishing touches. I'm going to add um, a couple of these enamel shapes. I only had one blue, so I only did that little bit rather than having done another cluster on the other side and a few uh, um, sequins and that is it thank you for joining me guys i hope you have enjoyed this video and i hope you'll join me again on uk scrap addicts on facebook and on youtube on instagram cheers bye